75 outdoor kitchens for every backyard budget. We're gonna to talk to you small, medium, and large, and you're gonna get ideas from everyone. We're gonna sprinkle some fun stuff and some surprises throughout. Enjoy right now. There's such an explosion of outdoor kitchens on the market in the last five years. Outdoor kitchens are so popular, but it's not about just the barbecue or the grill anymore. It's about the outdoor kitchen in general. Because I know you're on the internet, I know you're looking for a video that's gonna give you all of these choices in one video, and you're gonna see it right now. So we're gonna start with small and compact, but very stylish for our outdoor kitchen. Now, when we're talking about small, whatever you can imagine will fit. This little kitchenette here features a cover area for barbecuing made out of just corrugated metal roof. Obviously, two posts with a lean-to style. You can do a simple backyard barbecue. So even in a small space, it doesn't matter. You can still have a nice sized outdoor kitchen, a nice sized outdoor grill to feed your friends and to even feed yourself to be able to really get outside. Not just about being inside anymore. You want to use your outdoor space even in a very compact, small backyard. Now we're gonna move you from the small and compact to the grandiose wow factor of a backyard kitchen. Now the wow factor can really be at all sizes. You can go really over the top, so to speak, with your backyard kitchen. And it could include so many things. It can include a solid countertop surface. A lot of people use granite. What you see behind me is a, a paver, in fact, and that could be used as well. But then you have all of the grill surfaces, a bar that you wanna definitely consider in the wow factor. A lot of people are doing pizza ovens in their outdoor kitchen. So included in these wow kitchens are the green eggs. The smokers can be included right there. People are always asking me, what should I buy? What barbecue should I buy? What kind of a, a cook space should I get? And it's what is here, and these are called Blaze Barbecue products. So this is a, a Blaze side burner. It's like a cooktop surface, you can put, uh, you know, soups on it, corn on the cobs. This is a five burner Blaze barbecue here. It's an amazing cook surface. It cooks hot. It allows you to pretty much do all all your traditional barbecue stuff could be done in this very easily. This is a blaze griddle. So you take the cover off and you can do all your vegetables, you can do anything else. Moving on over, we have a dishwasher. This is by Bosch. And it's nice to be able to have a dishwasher in outdoor space. Just throw your dishes in there, you're good to go. Farm style sink and we have the faucet here. And here we have two refrigerators and an ice maker. You can do multiple cook surfaces in your outdoor kitchen. You can do a sink right there. You can do a rotisserie. You can do a kegerator. A lot of people are doing ice makers. In fact, I have two ice makers at my personal outdoor kitchen. You can do refrigerators. I have a lot of refrigerators in my outdoor kitchen. These are things that I want you to explore. Whatever you can imagine, in fact, whatever you can imagine on the inside of your house, pretty much you want to include on the outside of your house. Another wow factor, in fact, I would just say pretty much no matter whatever outdoor kitchen you're going to install, do a, tra a trash drawer. In fact, I have one right here. I don't know if I'm staying on camera, but there's a double trash drawer right there. Very convenient. One of them's for kind of our bottles and, and cans, one of them's for our garbage. So another thing we do have the wine and the cans. In fact, here, I'll just show you here. We have the cans on one side here, and then the wine drawer on another side here, both temperature controlled in different ways. So really, when you're thinking about your outdoor kitchen, I want you to think about all the things that you think you might want, because if you might want them, throw them in there, because I promise you, you will want them. Another big thing I wanna make sure you understand is storage is critical. You have to have storage. I made the mistake in my first outdoor kitchen of not doing enough storage. I had to rip the whole thing out and add more storage because we use the space so much. 
So isn't this an outdoor kitchen video where food is made? So I can't express the difference a bar makes in your outdoor kitchen. We've seen it so many times throughout the years, uh, the value of a bar. Really you get a bar and it offers so much additional seating for people, you can do an additional four to six to eight different spots for people that are just wanting to hang out in your outdoor kitchen. Trust me, you're going to love a bar because people will just be a magnet to those. So talking about our outdoor sink, I have one right behind me. I'll just turn it on for you. And you can, you can do whatever you want with the, the fancy heads there, uh, hot or cold, you know, whatever you want, you can have in your outdoor kitchen. Now, as we're talking about backyard kitchen sinks, I just want to let you know a little story from a client who was contemplating whether or not they should get an outdoor sink. It's a little bit expensive. You have to hire a plumber, all those kind of things. And she went ahead and did it. And she said right after construction, she knew that it was the best decision for her whole outdoor kitchen. Because no matter what, if there was a kid that spilled something, if they just had to do a quick hand wash, if they needed water, if they needed to warm their hands all these things were right there very convenient so they didn't have to open up the door go inside do it all inside and come back outside it's all right there in their backyard kitchen one of the biggest things that i want you to think about is a cover for your outdoor kitchen a cover is great in many climates you're going to for sure want a cover in some climates you won't need a cover but a cover is nice because it lets you cook four seasons and that's what you really that's what everybody wants they want to be able to barbecue and grill in the middle of winter and they don't want to worry about the weather you know right now we got a little bit of rain going on you don't want to worry about having to come outside grill for your family and worry about getting wet as you're grilling So you might be contemplating, should you do your outdoor kitchen on top of your deck, on the, you know, basically on the first floor or the second floor, or should you do it on the ground floor? And I want to let you know, and don't judge me for this, but it's nothing wrong with doing one on both. Outdoor kitchens really are about convenience. So if it's on the top and it's easy, then put one up on the deck. It's okay. And you can still have one in your true backyard living space under the cover where everybody's going to kind of party at in the summertime. So Another thing to consider for your backyard kitchen is a TV. People laugh at me all the time. They're like, they're, and they, the comments, you should see the comments by the way. They're like, what are you doing with the TV in your backyard? Why do you have to have that? By the way, this is backyard living, outdoor living. So you want it for your backyard outdoor kitchen. Of course, think about an outdoor TV. It's a good thought, especially if you have a bar, people are gonna be like magnets to that bar and they're gonna be drawn to the TV, watching the game, you know, watch, even listening to music, that TV could be an essential part of your backyard kitchen, so consider it. Another essential for your backyard kitchen is the heating and cooling aspect of your backyard kitchen, especially if you have a cover, would be a fan or a heater. So those are great things. In fact, a lot of people do it with a fireplace. They have that in the space with them to kind of keep the space warm. In fact, right behind camera right now, there's the fire going because that we need that heat. We have the heaters going right now too. So think about that for your backyard kitchen, adding 
a backyard heat source and a backyard cooling source, which would be a fan. Another essential, in fact, one that I have at my own outdoor kitchen, in fact, we use it every summer night, is a shade solution. The sun hits right at the wrong place right when we're eating in the evening time. So we just push the button, all of a sudden that shade goes down and we have some shade relief, some heat relief when we're in our backyard kitchen. So here we have it fully closed. You can tell right away it's attractive. You can't see through it very well, which is nice. It really does block the, the sun. We will show, to look, show a little bit of this from the inside looking out because it doesn't hinder a view from the inside looking out. You can still see people, you can still see what's happening. Very nice in that way. But again, this is gonna protect us all summer long from the sun, especially during that, that golden hour where it comes and just bakes you in your outdoor space. It protects you during that time. And all you do again is just touch it and easily see it go back up and retract. Probably would wanna wait till the sun is gone to do this. But here's that. Push a simple button, the down button. Here we go. And you will soon see me disappear into the wonderful shade. Ah, here we go. So this goes all the way down to the ground. It offers protection from the sun, obviously, but it also does a great job with wind protection as well as rain protection. And it offers a minor, uh, a little bit of control for climate control too. Another thing I want to just make sure you are aware of is the need for counter space. You probably already know this from inside your house, but you want to do the same thing in the backyard. Have extra counter space if you can. I even add another bar just for catch-all. Uh, people, when you have them over, they will fill that space with stuff. And if you, of course, if you're having drinks, if you're having food, that's a great drop point for people. So think about counter space. Now, a couple of different counters you could use. People are using concrete. Now, I just want to caution against concrete. I had concrete countertops. I ended up jackhammering them out and getting rid of them. I did not like them. So just consider that. Uh, the efflorescence was really bad. I can never keep the, the solid surface clean. So what we recommend is granite. I love granite. Granite's going to be there the test of time. It's uh, bulletproof, so to speak, and it's easy to clean. Here behind me is pavers. This is a less expensive option. I added these just to test them at my, at my own house, my own outdoor kitchen, just to see if they would work good. I don't like that they have a seam. You can see that. I don't like that fact. But other than that, they've been a decent solid surface for a low budget price. So think about that for your solid surface countertops. Another essential I just want you to think about is lighting. Of course, lighting uh, above head, but you could even do for your backyard kitchen, you can light under the lip of the solid surface countertop. So think about that. It hit really nice, they add another element. You can change the colors to whatever you'd like. It just really makes that outdoor kitchen pop in the evening hours. I wanna show you the lighting here that we did at this project. It's a beautiful project. Hard to see right now in the light. But I want to show you, you can kind of see as I turn those lights, you can see the different colors. And I'll even cruise over to this bar underneath all of the steps. And in that bar, you can see that we've actually done LED lights underneath the bar, underneath the steps. All of that is controlled, and I'll try to zoom in here by a smart device. So as I touch any of the color spectrum, you can see it changes that fast. Super cool. All around, changes that fast. Another little secret I want to let you know about your outdoor kitchen is you can do one of these Evos. Check these out, they're so cool. You can really cook whatever you want. It's like an all-purpose everything grill. You can cover it with the lid, you can do your pizzas, you can take the cover off, it's like a griddle, or you can act as a barbecue. And I would recommend them to you for your outdoor kitchen. 
really important to remember is a backyard kitchen is a convenience. It, old school, remember when the grill is just a griddle, it was just like a grill, and, but you were in and out, always constantly getting something from inside the house, bringing it outside. Think about that when you're designing and talking about in whatever you want, whatever you need, do it. You're gonna love your backyard kitchen. Go really have everything truly at your fingertips when you're in your backyard kitchen. You don't have to make those trips inside. They're right there. You're gonna love it, by the way. So just a reminder to get a good design. I wanna give you all this information and ideas, but still take the time Find a local designer. If you can't find a local designer that designs outdoor kitchens and outdoor living spaces, we would love to help you out. No matter where you live in the world, we can show you your backyard, your home and your backyard in a 3D world and give you a beautiful outdoor living design. So take that time, hire a good designer. It will save money down the road. So we probably have a good hundred or more examples for you here with our outdoor kitchens, but watch this video. I think it's this way actually. Watch this video and you're gonna see all about outdoor TVs and why or if you should get an outdoor TV. Enjoy.